there's an officer in front of me that I've been following since Miller, which is 56th Street, when he got on to the Palmetto. Um, he's about four cars down. I've had to, to keep up with him. I had to, like, you know, push the limit and everything. And I actually uh, know he was about going about 100 miles an hour because I was hitting 80 and I could not catch up to him. And he was still leaving me behind. Um, I was trying to get a hold of him because I wanted to... I actually at one point caught up when traffic uh, allowed me to. I was able to get up to him and honked and flashed my lights to ask him to pull over. And he, I don't know if he ignored me or anything, but he's been, you know, driving recklessly and pushing 100, you know, 80 to 100 miles an hour, uh, you know, throughout the, the highways and just trying to, I don't know where he's going, what the emergency is, but he is... Uh, he was driving very recklessly earlier and he was, you know, just switching through lanes and just endangering, you know, I guess that that, that could be considered endangering of the public. I was finally able to pull him over or pull next to him and ask him to please pull over so we can have a conversation. And he's now pulling over, I guess, or not. I'm not sure nobody's above the law you know we all have to be like set the example kind of thing you know you're you know you're a leader in the community you need to be a an example to the community you need to you know you need to lead by example you need to show what's the right thing to do you know so I'm gonna I, you know unfortunately I wasn't able to clip my camera and show you know how he was driving prior to this but I'll still have the conversation with him and see what he says. So let's see, let's see what happens here. Okay, bye. The reason I pulled you over today and I'm asking you to come over and have a conversation is because I saw you since Miller Drive when you were first jumping onto the Palmetto. Okay. And you were pushing 90 miles an hour. Really? Okay. Yes, and because I was going right behind you okay. and you passed me at, uh, you know, I was going what, 35 miles an hour down Miller. You passed me like I was standing still. Okay. Then after that, you got on the on the ramp, and we went past Bird Road. I pushed 80 to try and catch up with you, and you were still, I was still, you know, eating your dust. You were leaving me behind, and okay. I was going 80 miles an hour. And I just wanted to know, what's the emergency? Um, I don't know how fast I was going, but I can tell you this. I'm on the way to work right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe I was speeding, but like I said, you're entitled to your opinion. I just saw you now when you pulled over next to me, which is why I pulled over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought you had some kind of emergency or anything. Everything fine? No, everything's fine. Yeah, it's your speeding. Okay, well, What's... I apologize, and I'll be sure to slow down then. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, it's anything just... Anything else? I My think that... Badge? No, I just okay. think that we should all set an example. No, I agree. I agree. You know, agree. leaders, leaders of the mm -hmm. community, set by example. Oh, no. Miami Police Union Chief Javier Ortiz reprimanded by Internal Affairs for doxing woman the Miami Police Union president who retaliated against a woman earlier this year for pulling over a cop for speeding was reprimanded by Internal Affairs last week. Miami Police Lieutenant Javier Ortiz, president of the Miami Fraternal Order of Police, was reprimanded for discourtesy and improper procedure, according to the Internal Affairs report completed on December 15. When contacted for comment Tuesday afternoon, Ortiz said he was not even aware of the decision but provided the following statement. The woman is a danger to my members and law enforcement as a whole. No regrets. She's an officer safety risk pulling over a vehicle on the side of I-95. I'm in the process of appealing my right up as a violation of my First Amendment rights. A reprimand generally just means a letter will go into his file. Facebook Twitter had mailed the Miami Police Union president who retaliated against a woman earlier this year for pulling over a cop for speeding was reprimanded by Internal Affairs last week. Miami Police Lieutenant Javier Ortiz, president of the Miami Fraternal Order of Police, was reprimanded for discourtesy and improper procedure, according to the Internal Affairs report completed on December 15. When contacted for comment Tuesday afternoon, Ortiz said he was not even aware of the decision but provided the following statement. The woman is a danger to my members and law enforcement as a whole. No regrets.
She's an officer safety risk pulling over a vehicle on the side of I-95. I'm in the process of appealing my right up as a violation of my First Amendment rights. A reprimand generally just means the letter will go into his file. It all started on January 29th when Claudia Castillo spotted Miami-Dade police officer Daniel Fontichiella driving at a high rate of speed, so she began following him while recording with her phone. After several miles of following him on the Miami Expressway, he pulled over and walked back to her car, inquiring if she needed help. She told him he was speeding and he apologized and went on his way. She then posted the video on Facebook which was then picked up by Pinak where it went hugely viral. Ortiz, who is very outspoken on social media, especially about cases that do not even involve his department, took it upon himself to post the woman's phone number on his Facebook page in retaliation for her having pulled over the cop, even though he works for a different agency and is represented by a different police union. Castillo said she ended up receiving tons of calls from anonymous numbers, many of them making threats. They say, be careful what you do. You better watch your back. Be careful how you proceed. You better drive very carefully, she told photography is not a crime in an interview earlier this year. He also created memes from photos he obtained through her Facebook page, including one showing her driving a boat with a beer in her hand accusing her of breaking the law. Facebook ended up removing the posts on the basis that they violated the company's terms of services. Castillo stated the following in a Facebook message to photography is not a crime, public perception of the abuse of power by police will not change until the departments begin to take action on behalf of the concerns of the its citizens. This complaint was filed in the beginning of the year and took months to be processed. Javier Ortiz was found to be in violation of at least 13 City of Miami departmental orders which are grounds for dismissal, suspension and demotion, yet no action has been taken. The city should take this opportunity to make an example out of this individual who has repeatedly demonstrated his conduct to be unbecoming of a police officer. She said she would like to file a lawsuit, so is interested in hearing from lawyers willing to take her case. Speaking of which, Ortiz has been sued at least twice this year for excessive force on citizens, which you can read about here and here. Pinac Executive Director Grant Stern contributed to this report.